Steve Small, TNA Director of Productions. What has it been like working here at Universal Studios Orlando? Well, it's been great. It was the perfect location for a baby company who didn't have a TV contract to speak of, who wanted the excitement of a live audience, wanted a home, couldn't afford to take production on the road, which is so expensive. I mean, it's taken us this long to get to this point. And Universal offered an ideal location. First, it has a wrestling history. I worked at WCW. Worldwide used to be shot in here. Exact same studio. In fact, I remember when Booker T came to work for TNA, walked in, uh, came down the ramp, and Jeff Jarrett going to Booker T said, well, it's small, isn't it? Was it what you expected? And uh, Booker said, Jeff, don't you remember? We worked here. We worked here together. So Booker T, everybody, Jimmy Hart, how many times he'd been in this place? Hulk Hogan, you know? Everybody knew this location, so it felt like home. The Universal Studios production group people were very welcoming. They knew what we were about. They knew what wrestling was about. And so to start with, it was a place that we know we could produce shows and we knew audiences were here. And that was the most important thing, is to have audiences. Because you don't have great professional wrestling without great audiences. Like any other entertainment, and like any other sport, the players react to the fans. Same thing for us, no question about it. You do your best effort, but if there isn't that energy and that feedback, it falls a little flat. So we came here to find regular audiences, great audiences, to allow us to build a brand. We didn't know if it would be four weeks, 13 weeks, or 13 years. But being here in Orlando, uh, in Soundstage 21, a building with storied wrestling history, allowed us to jumpstart the thing and last this many years. The fans here in Orlando, you've had new fans coming in and out, but you also had a loyal fan base, too, that came to a lot of shows. What's that been like? You mentioned about the audience reaction, and they've always been a strong group of fans here. A strong group of fans. In fact, at the very beginning, they came, they were the fan base. Let me tell you, we have a famous pit, the wrestling pit, where the camera, when it looks across the ring, it's looking at people standing and cheering. There was a logistical reason why that pit exists. And that reasoning particularly when we started with a six-sided ring, as the design was not accurate to put in the bleachers, a seating section, and the ring without a uh, emergency egress. So first shell's coming up, very first one. What are we going to do? We can't not have faces reacting there. We could only put one row of chairs in before you went to the bleachers or the wall. What do we do? Let's have a mosh pit. And that's, and that's where it came from, and that's how the whole concept started. I'm sorry.